still not heading back to our cart. We now cart, whatever. We now go back here to this guy. He has another puzzle for us. Woof! That was bad. I missed a beluga. I mean, he always blows up at you like that. Well, you know, me or someone else on the staff, the boss could be a very hard man to please. That's awful. You and the others shouldn't have to put up with him bullying you like that. Well, the boss does have a point. After all, he made this railway what it is today. He always says that a first-class train deserves a first-class atmosphere. I mean, even the plates we use in the dining car are custom-made. The craftsmanship is amazing. Take a look at the fine detail on the bottom. Puzzle 13, 15 to 15 picker rats. The plate in front of you bears a mark made up of two equilateral triangles, one inside the other. Can you work out how many times bigger the large triangle is than the small one? People have a think. Must I give some hints? Well, actually, the only real hint that you need is... Pause if you don't want to hear me talk. Flip the inside triangle the other way around. So the single point is pointed up. I'll just rotate it like a little bit to the left. Just to, so the point, so there's one point pointing up. And then it becomes pretty self explanatory from then. So let's input the answer. Please count that. God damn it. Eh. eh. Oh, fuck. Thank you. It's a bit. Just leave it to me. Layton's apprentice strikes again. That's right. If you imagine that the small triangle is inverted as shown, it should only take a moment to realise that four small triangles will fit into the large one, like I said. Just flip it, or rotate it a little bit, and it shows pretty much there how many can fit. Gosh, you've got an eye for this kind of thing. This is the R. I'm sure Mr. Beluga will find a way to... find a reason to complain about these plates too. I wouldn't be surprised. I suppose rich people can just afford to be picky. Puzzle 13 on your plate is now the puzzle index. 